Hello everyone, just a quick update on a recent executive order by the governor. Today I watched along with New Yorkers and communities across our state in utter disbelief as I heard our governor struggle to describe his plan to use the National Guard to forcibly seize ventilators and PPE equipment from upstate hospitals to add to New York City's stockpile. He called that borrowing. My disbelief turned to disgust, quite frankly, as I watched the governor compare seizing rare and extremely expensive life-saving equipment to borrowing your neighbor's drill. The governor has already been sending coronavirus patients to upstate hospitals, and our communities by and large are more than willing to help treat those in need. But how will our hospitals be able to treat these downstate patients, let alone the coming surge of cases within our own communities, with our ventilators being seized and shipped to New York City? The governor also promised to pay for the hospitals to purchase new ventilators. In the very same breath that he used to outline the ventilator shortage and the difficulty in acquiring new ventilators. No matter how much mental or verbal gymnastics our governor attempts to play on national television to justify this action, it doesn't change certain facts. The facts are that Governor Cuomo is transporting coronavirus patients for treatment upstate while forcibly seizing ventilators and other equipment to send downstate. This puts our community in a very dangerous position. Our National Guard could be better used helping contain the spread, stopping unnecessary travel from areas hit hardest by the virus, and most importantly, transporting equipment and supplies to all of our communities in need. Now, how many seals, posters, PowerPoint presentations the governor plasters e pluribus unum across, those words are only as good as the action that follow. The governor's actions are showing that he only cares about New York City and doesn't think twice about the needs of the rest of the state when they inconvenience him. Our numbers may be lower than New York City, but that's only because we don't have an adequate number of test kits. And what a convenient problem to have when you've decided to seize upstate hospital equipment. My plea to Governor Cuomo is the very same plea that I made three weeks ago. We need more test kits, we need more PPEs, so we can keep our amazing and heroic doctors, nurses, and first responders safe. Governor, every New York life matters. To my constituents and those throughout upstate New York, I say God bless, thank you, and stay healthy.